Battlefield 2042 does not feature an offline campaign mode so the game is rendered unplayable when you are unable to connect to the e-servers. Popular online games such as this one can understandably suffer from online troubles during launch but server-related issues usually go away after some time. In this video, we'll show you what you need to do if you're constantly getting an error message that says Battlefield 2042 is having a hard time connecting to the servers. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Fix number one, close and restart the game. Sometimes, the Battlefield 2042 software may briefly disconnect from the internet or from the e-servers. What you can do to fix it is to try closing and restarting the game to refresh the connection. Fix number two, check for server outages. If the unable to connect to e-servers error did not go away, and Battlefield 2042 remains unplayable after restarting it, the next important step that you need to do is to check the e-server status. If you have a Twitter account, the easiest way for you to do is check the official Battlefield 2042 account, Battlefield Direct Communication. You can also visit the official e-website if you're planning on checking out other issues aside from a possible server problem. If you don't want to use the official channels though, third-party server status detection tools such as Down Detector may also help. Fix number 3, Power Cycle the Modem or Router Rebooting your modem or router is a classic recommended solution for all types of connection problems. Turn off the modem or router and unplug it from the power source for at least 30 seconds once every few days. Fix number 4, Run a Speed Test You may be dealing with slow connection issues and it's causing your PC or console to fail to maintain a solid communication with the servers. Try running a speed test and see how fast your internet connection is. You want to ensure that you have a minimum of 15 Mbps. If you think that your connection is slow or needs improving, contact your internet service provider. <music> Fix number 5. Use different DNS server addresses. Another thing that you can do in this situation is to try to use another set of different DNS servers. The exact steps on how to do this depends on the platform you're using but if you're doing it on a PC, you'll need to go to the advanced network settings and change the DNS from there. Press the Windows key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can go to Windows Settings menu and search the Control Panel from there. Type in Control Panel and open the Control Panel app. Click Network and Internet. Go to Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Options. Right-click on Ethernet Network and click Properties. In the Ethernet Properties window, click Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4, then select Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. For your preferred DNS server, type in 8888. For your alternate DNS server, type in 8844. Make sure to enable Validate Settings upon Exit box, then click OK. Fix number 6, use a wired connection. The final solution that you can do in this case is to try a wired connection. Obviously, this only applies if your PC or console relies on Wi-Fi for internet connection. Wired connection is more dependable than wireless, and connecting by cable eliminates the possibility of possible signal interference. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help